Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy Eric Bellinger. You already know what time it is, man. Your favorite song is Easy All That. Easy Call Out right now. Make sure you go check it out. Where at? Oh, yeah. Homegrown Radio. It's your boy. It's easy. <laughs> Back at it home, bro. Radio, <laughs> Chuck Dizzle, <laughs> DJ Head. Try not to be scapegoat over here, man. We got a, a family in the building with us right now. Man. Yeah. Easy Call is out right now. Easy Call. Easy Call, homie, easy call. Hometown, a homegrown yeah. homie. Eric Bellinger in the building with us right now. What's going on? Easy. I'm feeling good. I'm, feeling, I'm feeling great. Yikes, man. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> man. <laughs> Man, my dude, man, how's everything going with you, bro? Good, man. Everything, I, uh, everything catching up. We, we were talking before uh, this. You were talking about how you finally glad that this body of work is out yeah. for people. Man, I, I can imagine because you dropped a lot of shit over the last, like the last couple years. Right? Too much shit, if you ask me. Hello. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Hello. But, I, I can imagine fans always probably still ask, "Yo, when's the next shit coming out?" For sure, always. man. Yeah, the, yeah, the fans nowadays, you know, one month, two months. Mm -hmm. It's low key old. Absolutely. You know what I mean? But I have to say, I, what, I, what I have been paying attention to on social media, not just that, but I mean, you're doing hella shows and shit like that. But the way you've been marketing your 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 the music has been incredible because it's been Thank feeling you. like, yo, you've always, you're dropping something constantly. Yeah. So now that this is out, how do you, how do you feel that it's finally out for the people to finally, you know what I'm saying, grab? Man, I feel good because now I feel like, you know, with all of the projects that I've put out, not only have I done, you know, projects that have had themes. Mm -hmm. Some of them was mixtapes, right, some yeah. of them was EP, some of them was like, I put out a double disc before on right. one time. I had a trilogy. Valentine's Day shit. Yeah, Valentine's Day. I got Christmas projects. I the got trap shit. The trap, exactly. But I never have been like, yo, this is my album. Mm. You know, and I feel really confident in this body of work to be like, yeah, I just dropped the album regardless if I'm signed to a major, signed to an right. independent, I don't care. This is my album. It's a new day and age now. I feel like you don't have to be signed to a major yeah. for that. And it, I, I think uh -huh. that it's, that, like I said, the last few years, Years, it's changed and, and like yeah. you said people have been waiting for that body of work to release on a major a major yeah. platform but it's like nah you got that shit yourself and you got the fan base and people are tapping in you yeah. know what I'm saying to what yeah. you're doing right now yeah. and now you're able to give it to the people man yeah I'm feeling good man I, I I don't know, the response already been crazy so far. Nice, so. nice. Man. I ain't gonna lie to you. What's that? Like, I'm not, I'm not bullshitting. I have never seen E this happen. Oh no, he he came in. I like, have skipping. never in, in, <laughs> and was Love crazy. It, like, but it ain't just, it ain't just E though. It's it's Neiman. It's right, right, like, the whole team. I yeah. ain't never seen motherfuckers this excited or happy. Like, and here's the thing. Now, what feels better? Mm -hmm. Get it married or dropping this album? Ooh. Oh man, no, come on, that. man! Don't do that. See, he yeah. he try to he be trying nah, to nah. Home, for dog. me, I'm I'm happy. I'm in, I'm married. I don't gotta drop this album. This shit can stay in there. Right. There you go. I be trying to stay in the dog. iTunes. I don't care. Well, no, because on some real shit though, like I'm really happy for you, dog. Thank you. Just bro. because like I know what it's been and yeah. what you've been through and the, this and the that and woo woo woo. And so when you finally decided, all right, we're gonna do. We gonna do YFS. Mm -hmm. We gonna do our own thing. Yeah. When you finally just like, all right, I'm gonna do this. We gonna we gonna do it all independent. Uh -huh. Like you was talking about. When you need a video shot, it's boom. It's to the face. It's to the we boom. need to do this. When you do, did you think about like long term what that was gonna mean? Like uh, not even financially, but just the work you got to put in. I didn't. Cause you used to coming from comfortable, a little comfortable. Yeah, from the behind the scenes vibes. It's like, oh, we got a session today. I go write the song, boom, and then I'll be like, oh, look at Chris Brown over there performing at the Grammys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like looking at it like yeah you know I worked on it I worked on it and I had a part to do with that I got a Grammy whatever I'm happy but now that I'm like alright I'm the one that's chasing the Grammy then it's a whole nother vibe now I gotta hit 75 radio stations mm -hmm. in a week now exactly. I gotta make sure I'm the last one in the studio right. you know what I'm saying cause it gotta be perfect everything because of the independent vibes right. it's still more work right. you know Absolutely. what I'm saying Absolutely. so yeah and, and I kinda feel like you all of that was leading up to these moments you know yeah. what I'm saying and, and training all, camp training camp right nah, so now yeah. now all eyes are on you you doing this and and uh what do you feel like for you when you when you actually hit the stage versus being in the studio for you is there a preference like do yeah. you like creating the music more or performing it in front of the fans because i've seen the shows yeah. and it's you go hard you understand yeah. It's man, I tap into I tap into a night and day energy. It's mm. like comparing Whitney Houston to gotcha. Two Chains, you know. It, because when I'm creating, I get to I get to let go in a way that 
I, I don't know. Maybe it is the same because because I'm saying when I'm in, when I'm in the studio, I like to just be by myself. You know, what I'm saying yeah. and I'm tapping into. I be I don't be afraid to like hit the wrong note. I don't be afraid to do anything because nobody watching me. Right, it's just me in the right, booth by right. myself. So I'm trying weird shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anything that'll work. Yeah, yeah. And when I'm on stage, I gotta be polished already. You know what I'm saying? So I'm 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 in a vibe, but I'm still staying in my parameters because you could you could do too much on stage. Yeah, yeah. And I'm a real singer. You feel me on? Some some boys to men, you know, yeah. Jodeci, and we like to church, you feel yeah. me? And it's very easy to hit a note that was like, oh, mm-hmm. back that up. Mm-hmm. Back it, that up. You know Rewind. Yeah, so I don't. I want to be, like, flawless, because the thing is, you never know when the fan going to press record. They might, maybe, uh, maybe the one well, minute, uh, the yeah. first minute is when I'm in the vibe, you know what I'm saying? But what if they catch 237 in the song when I'm tired? Mm-hmm. So I got to make sure it's flawless uh, throughout, because that 15 that. second interval, you feel me, could, could be the that. only thing that somebody else you, sees in another country on Snapchat. Chat. And now have your ass on a Rob Lane edit, on a Rob Lane edit with your stupid ass right. note. <laughs> you got a stupid ass note. That, that one note, that like that one note. It'd be like, what about, ah, when, I, right. what about <laughs> when I hit on the wood? Hey, you feel me? Damn dog. Yeah, Damn. Exactly. So I, I, yeah, I try to make sure I'm in pocket. It, I don't want to do too much. I just like to swag out a little it, bit. Is it more pressure to be like in front of social media now? Like you said, when everybody has that that phone, everybody can either yeah, see you in public or, so or much. on stage. You it's know what crazy saying? nowadays. Like I don't be doing nothing. I just be chilling just because any moment that flash gonna be on on you so it's like all right i gotta kind of watch it now do you oh i was gonna i was gonna ask do you enjoy making us regular dudes look bad (laughs) you know what i'm saying i I was like no because of some real shit like you just be doing extravagant shit (laughs) and i'd be like i'm you know what i'm finna i'm tired of eric you know he on plane (laughs) rides he flying over my crib i'm on the east side damn that's eb you know what i'm saying he he riding ponies and shit Uh, unicorns oh into the club nigga let me just tell you this Dog, as like, do you man, wait? No time out. I gotta get this off. From married man to married man. Like when I gotta when I gotta come home to my wife after that. <laughs> hey, how can every, I top that, bro? Everybody be how like, can I top? Look, man. I just wait. Honestly, first of all, I, first, like, where, where did the concept come from to do that? What? And, and how many calls did you get after that to say, bro? Why, why did you come on? You, you talking about stage. the unicorn? Yes. Oh, the unicorn. That one was a vibe, man. That one, that one definitely that was, a was a vibe. That's a vibe. Okay. Don't hit us with the bullshit. <laughs> nah. 106 in part. That, that was a vibe, Because, right? bro, like, the thing is, I don't know. I'm like, if you're not going to go hard, what are you doing? But niggas can't you afford know? unicorns. I mean, come on, man. Like, nah, that's my, what I'm my intent in my heart is to get a unicorn. You know what I'm saying? Come on. I, listen, my pockets might be see, a donkey. You know what I'm saying? Chuck is actually a good guy. He's a really good guy. He's a yeah. great husband. I know Chuck. Yeah. I know He's Chuck. all that shit. I'm not with none of that shit. I'm not finna buy. I don't give a fuck how much money I got. I'm not finna buy. I'm not finna rent no, buy no, lease no unicorn for any reason. Hey man, fuck that. So the, the unicorn, my initial question was, do you enjoy making us regular guys look bad? Swing yeah. the goddamn camera, Tom. <laughs> Let me know in the camera. Yeah. Then. yeah. Okay, the answer is yes. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy that shit. God damn it. I, I knew it. They post pictures with his girl. They, right. They on, they on the beach. Right. Uh, on fucking, on Gullah Gullah Island. Here you go. 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 On the beach on Gullah Gullah Island, Island, dog, right. kissing and shit. Listen, man. I can't compete with that I'm guy. I'm trying right. to be, you right. feel me, the blueprint. You're I'm trying example. to be the example. Yeah. I'm trying to be the that, one. Man. You feel me? That shit hard I want to be the one. Man. I want to be the one that the Lord chose. Bruh, I appreciate it, but goddamn. I'm trying to go crazy. Right. Watch what we do tomorrow. Yeah, see what dude. I'm saying. Ooh. Now, th- now let me let me fuck that part two to that. <laughs> Look, part two to that. I gotta do do a little background on this because yeah. shouts to wifey. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Chuck is married to the yeah. motherfucker. Ma- married as hell. Like, married to the motherfucker. Love it. Love married life. And I, I appreciate really? you for doing. You know, showing that in this industry you can't be married. On, yeah. on a serious note, I do like that part. But goddamn it, Tasha ain't been here in fucking almost a year. This is my wife, right? Yeah. <laughs> she, we used to share this space. All of us used to share this space, and she used to cook every he single week. He put his wife out oh, yeah, there. Yeah. She ain't cooked uh-huh. in goddamn what? A year? Was it a year? No, two years. Two years? Damn. Two years. Guess what? Guess what I said? Oh, we got, you know, eat. oh, oh, so uh, we got, uh, we want to come back and make some stuff tonight. I'm like, oh, they making food? Oh, they making food tonight. Yeah, yeah. For, for, for Eric Bellinger. I hey. stopped and bought my own fucking food. I know, that's why when you asked me if I wanted some shit, I said, nah, I'm hey, good. I'm hey, fuck you. Like, so, man, good looking shit. out. We getting food tonight Anybody on behalf of you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but on, on a serious note, like I said, it's, it's dope to see that, you know, you showing that in this industry, you can't be married, be faithful, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And 
because it's 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 hard. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, no, nah, it's crazy. I'm one of the long rangers out here, bro. Mm-hmm. And, and, and people don't oh, long, long, <laughs> long, and people don't. It's see you that and Big Boy. Yeah, you're right. Faithful yeah. to the motherfucker. And E and Eric. Hello. When I'm yeah. talking about radio niggas. True. Very true. Hey man. And Charlemagne feel- after 2000. Yeah, I was gonna say don't you can't throw Charlemagne. 15. In that. Yeah, because you know he put a lot of shit in that book. <laughs> West yeah, Coast. Yeah, yeah. He put a lot of shit in that book. West Coast. <laughs> So, West Coast. so the the strategy behind the the, the project, man. What, yeah. what else are you gonna? What, what can the fans expect? Like, because now yeah. that it's out, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. The, what, what can we expect? Like, there are certain things. I know you got mm-hmm. the um the show that's going on going on uh, for the hundred people, right? Yeah, yeah. So tonight mm-hmm. we got the secret show, um, man. Just the just the real fans, you know what I mean? And they got to go through a little bit to get to the show, but it's like. So talk about That's wait talk about the strategy behind that. What, if what you, you want to come, you can't give come. away all the shit. You know what I'm saying? What do you make? What do you make? Nah, so you just gotta you just gotta like Tap send in. a photo, okay. send a video, uh, sign up. You gotta buy that. Make sure you show like a pre order or or that you bought the album. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? And you know we doing something real special in return at the same time. So it's like if you want an extra special experience, you gotta do a little bit. But I mean that goes to show like what you're doing for the people and what they're willing to do to to, to show that they're a part. You, you create the experience yeah. and I think that that's what a lot of people are missing nowadays I go back yeah. to the Instagram and like the social media the way you're tapping into your fan base and having them choose the songs that they like and then going yeah, to the, the, that's the studios that's that's dope as fuck like, yeah. but that's a different way and that's that's what makes it seem like yo he has got a lot of shit he's dropping you know yeah. what I'm saying you're uh-huh. staying in people's faces yeah. was there a certain plan ahead of time to say yo this is how we want to attack it marketing wise or was it something that just kind of stumbled into to notice like oh this is actually yeah. working out more now with this one I, I feel like we really just all guns blazing you know what i mean mm-hmm. like it might have been you know where we was just putting out projects like all right cool it's time for another one i just finished the project right. we put it out drop i just it. finished the project let's drop it and now the intention was to level up yeah. in the yeah. position to where it's like okay cool if you mention such and such and such and such and such and says you can't not mention e right, you know what i mean right, and true. it was cool with it being under breaths mm-hmm. in the underground conversations in the underground world but my my music is mainstream it's worldwide music that every Everybody is here internationally. It's just like a, it been a vibe like he hard, but, and now it's like, nah, 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 he the one. one you feel right, me? The right. single is called Goat. The you one. feel me? Everything is like, you got to listen to him. The singers know it. The artists know it. Right. The aren't A&Rs know right, it. The it. managers know it. Yeah. So now it's just about updating and notifying the consumer where the, you feel me? The godfather, the source Hello. was. Hey, you know what I like though? <laughs> On some real shit. What I what I appreciate about you is the fact that like a lot of people be like trying to overcomplicate their shit, and you yeah. lean into the simplicity. You like, yeah. no, nah, I want to make it digestible for you yeah. know the ladies. I want to make it digestible yeah. for the homie to, to to sing along to. The fact Simple. that you lean into that because I remember you talked about that last time we sat down, purpose. and you was like, no, I want my shit to be easy. Mm-hmm. And it's like most people go out of their way to make their shit complex. I'm like, exactly. why the fuck are you doing that? Right, like, right. You yeah. making it harder for everybody else? I'm, to I'm on the four or five. I don't want to be trying to figure out. <laughs> Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You gotta you gotta make it simple, and that's why a lot of times people wonder why the complex, you know, artists or the intricate lyrical, you know, what I'm saying, the artists miracle, be miracle, struggling. Miracle, 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 rational, yeah. pterodactyl. And then, yeah, and then they look at the yachtis yeah. and they be like, "Why is he winning?" It's like, "Cause you know the song, and you ain't even never heard it." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very true. Never heard it. You've never popped it in your iTunes. You've never went to the song yeah. ever, right. but you know it. Right. Yeah. And have you always been like that as a songwriter? Like, do you when you approach the actual writing, but not behind, not the Eric Bellinger yeah. shit, but when you writing for everybody else in their fucking yeah. mama, uh, do you approach uh, it the same way? It's like I'm gonna give them a little bit of my flavor, or do you write from? Do you do it from their perspective? I always tap into the artist. I'm like, what we on today? How you feeling in your world? Right, what happened yeah. to you today? Yeah. And you know when I do. It, I can only swag it and articulate it how I think it's wavy, but right. it's their story. So, a lot of times when I get with an artist and I, you know, am able to actually pick their brain before I write a song, yeah. it's one thing to be at the crib working, at the studio working, and you send it and you hope they rock with it and they, yeah. they vibing with it. But when you write there with them, you got to take advantage of that to any writer or, you know, that's in there with, this, with the, with the uh, artist. If you can get in there and you can ask them what they feeling and tap into their energy, it's a lot more likely that they're going to connect with the song. Yeah. Do you do you tap into somebody's story when they when they give you specific instances or yeah. do you just, are you a vibe reader? Like, um, Nah, we got to talk. Okay. Yeah, we got to talk. Yeah, like, sit down. Yeah, we got to sit down. Um, man, I remember... 
one of the first people that really just opened up um, in a session was Latoya Luckett. I remember working with her. She's so dope. Her voice. She was, yeah, like we was able to make the best work because she just tapped into, she get, she got it, you know, and I was able to deliver, you know what I'm saying, whatever it was. And it always was family because, you know, it's not like I'm out here telling people any of her business or anything yeah. like that. It's just, it's necessary if you really want to tap into and crack, you know what I'm saying, a, a beyond the surface level type record. Do you got to be slightly, do you got to be slightly fucked up in the head to write from other people's lives? Like, you, you got to be slightly a little bit de deranged, don't you think? Yo, I really do, I really do think that the, <laughs> it's crazy, like, because I, I don't even be, it don't take me long, man, to write songs, and I really tap into, like, I don't know what it is. I tap into, not me, it's not me. Yeah, yeah, you got multiple personalities That's stored up in there. fucked up. From it's Arkham Asylum. It's not me. I be Liddy. I be, you know what I'm saying? I got a little bit of dro. I got a little bit of drink. I got a little bit of the prayers from above. Right. All over the place. All mixed up in the gumbo you know pot. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm talking to the artists about what's going on in their personal life, you know, and it's just rolled into me being from Compton, but also growing up in the, in the, you know, Norwalk, Santa Fe Springs. Yeah. I was going to school over there, but I was in the hood. It was, I got all kind of things all that have, yeah. So when, when people don't open up, Mm -hmm. You know, when they, on the writing side, when people yeah. don't open up, yeah. does it? I know it makes it difficult, but like, yeah. how, how do you approach to say, okay? Yeah. Well, it, then the it's just, and then it's just hard to see if they really rock with it, because uh, it's like then it's just is it a puppet vibe? You gotcha, know what I'm gotcha, saying? Gotcha. And you know, sometimes when I've done records in the past, people don't even care. They just like, just give me a song. Like, uh, I need something. I need, wow. I need something that sound like Rihanna. Right. Uh, uh, right. We found love. Wow. I'm like, damn. I'm like then what you gonna do? Then what? Because you don't look like her. Right. You don't, <laughs> you don't got her squad. You're not Riri. You, <laughs> you're not, you're not, not Riri. Riri. You can say it. <laughs> but you're not Riri. You're not Riri at all. Have you ever been in a studio session <laughs> and told... Wait, get Chuck saying it. Get Chuck saying it. <laughs> you're not Riri. <laughs> you can probably sing a little bit, but you're not Riri. You're not Riri. Right, right. You're not her. Right. At all. Because I was That's doing it. I was doing it bad. Right. I know you was. Nah, I got you, though. I got you, man. I feel that. What you said? I was saying, no, I was saying, have you ever been in a studio session and straight up told somebody, like, yo. Yeah, this ain't working. This ain't, you. This not going to be. Look, look, this, you just, look, look, this not going to be your favorite song. Yeah. Let me tell you right now. This is not going to be your favorite. right now. I'm Don't be asking me to put my little tag in front of your song. This is not going to work right now. <laughs> have you ever done that? Like, been in the studio and be like, you know what? Take my tag off. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, yeah, I've had I've had to say no before. Oh, you have? Shit. Yeah. You ever, yeah. Have you ever told somebody take your take you off of a song? Like, nah, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> I mean, like strip the background yeah. vocals. I need all that. Nah, off. but I, I've 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 said like, nah, like I only put this tag on certain right. songs. Right, like, it's, yeah. it's not yeah, the vibe. It's not the vibe for I've done it. so many features, and yeah. they just they they want that thing thing. I'll be yeah. like, I and even I don't even say it on all of my songs. Yeah. I yeah. only say when I really feel like, all right, this was on for radio. Like, mm -hmm. this is one that I know I love, so they gonna love. <laughs> but if it's I can't just be yeah, slapping it because then it's gonna depreciate it. You feel me? It ain't gonna be as powerful. That's like Niggas ain't give, gonna be trying to sing it. It's like Mustard yeah. giving everybody the muster on the beat hole. It's like, nah, you can't get it. We the best. Everybody, yeah, everybody right. can't, oh. it. can't happen. Can't happen at all. I can imagine being, being what that if, artist. What if another beat came out and it said Mustard on, on that beat? beat. It's like, What's gonna happen? Huh? Yeah, man. That's true. I rest my case on the other thing. Bro. On the other thing. I, yeah, take me off of that yeah. shit. What? Take my, take my shit off <laughs> that. Take my Run shit it off all that. the way off. I don't want to be on this song no more, bro. Yeah, I'm I don't gone. want it. I'm to the house. Bro. I don't want it. They're going to hear it. It's going to get to the one. It's going to be a different type of vibe. It's yeah. like, oh, I didn't bad. even put my stamp on that. So <laughs> I, I'm, I was reading on, I was going on social media. I was on, I think, Instagram. Yeah. You know, uh, shout out to Elliot Wilson. He posts like everybody's fucking tweets and, yeah. like, and Instagrams and shit. Yeah. And somebody said, how is it possible that an R&B song is the hardest diss track this year? Woo! It's like, Whoa! Now I didn't that big draws to put on. I was like, wow. Didn't think about that. I didn't think about that either. I but you look at think out? about that shit. Didn't know this shit come out though. I'm trying to think. Oh, the hardest track this year. No, 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 no. Hardest diss track. They they specifically said diss track. I can't think of, I don't know. Maybe I'm being ignorant. I don't know. 
But that just that's from, crazy, from making though. that statement though. That's you know fucking what I'm saying? crazy. Making that statement in general, it's like obviously we we're not gonna beat around the bush. We know it's a lot of attention around that shit. Yeah. And we we we've talked about it offline. We've talked about it. I mean, we had those conversations. Oh, I've definitely had those yeah. conversations. You you definitely stood up a lot. <laughs> West Coast, yeah, West, West Coast. Coast. So, you know what I'm saying? Hey, no, it's West Coast. It's West. Real quick, let me say this. All right, because if I was anywhere else, yesterday exactly. Yesterday I'm with DJ Looney. Mm-hmm. Right? Shout I'm out with, to him. I'm Shout with DJ Looney. Looney. You thought it was black. He brought that shit up. Mm-hmm. Right? And then I'm on Twitter. I'm on, I hop on Twitter and DJ Artistic. Now, we all some LA news. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, so right. we know what it is. So Artistic Tweets is like, yo, why did DJ Head hit him with the, but this LA though, West right. Coast. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and too. it's like, I, I ain't going to lie to you. And I told you this before at your birthday. I don't. I didn't intend to come off that way. I wasn't pressed. I wasn't on no L.A. like fuck you. I was just like, yo, I'm. It's no way I'm not gonna ask you about the homie shit and you in the city. Right, so right. that's what it was, and yeah. it kind of just you know did it, did whatever. Right off. Now I called you after I did the interview yeah. to tell you you and Neem. I was like, yo, yeah. I'll just let you know. I asked what happened. Him. I asked him about it, and this you know woo woo woo. Mm-hmm. So when you first saw the video. When you first saw the video that I did with Tori, what was like? Did you what, what was you thinking? Like, what was your first thought? Uh, at first, when I was like, okay, he keeps saying it's irrelevant. You right. know, the, the Belgium, the Belgium. I'm like, okay, that's, that's what, another that terrible bar. Yeah, <laughs> but you can't do the, it, the, the the irrelevant, irrelevant. It's like, okay, which one is it? Am I irrelevant, or do you got time in the studio while you trying to get at right, me? Right, right. Because you took a lot of time on some irrelevant shit, my G. But it wasn't even anything besides that. You know what I mean? It was just like, all right, cool. I seen that. And then, you know, then I seen the Genius interview. And yeah. like, it was just like, oh, he's over just being and over. disrespectful. Like, this is the biggest pr- pub he'll ever get in his life. It's like, all right, cool. Let me just even up the score. You put out one. I'm going to put out one. Right. And now we even. Now we even. Now, now I ain't got to lie, though. Yikes is, yeah, yikes is kind of different. Little, you know what I'm I don't know, I don't know about even. Different. Now, if you're talking about you know just in terms saying? of body, you know, uh, now, tracks, now, okay, yeah, one and one, but God it's, damn. it's no secret. I'm not an R&B fan. Right. It's no secret. Everyone knows this about me. I don't. I like the. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Now, what the fuck was that? I That's tempo. It's tempo. Okay, it's okay. Tempo. I'm he glad you got it. Dude. I've been as me and E been in the studio, right, so right. he know. He I need some shit moving. <laughs> now, I was when I'm, li- I'm listening to this shit, because you know I got shot the kite and I'm listening to it early and what now I'm like, this shit is hard. <laughs> this shit is hard as fuck. It's different. I was like, I, and and the, and the thing is, me not liking R and B music, but running that motherfucker back six times. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? On some real shit, yeah, I, yeah. I, I listened to it six times. I ain't afraid to say it is what it is, because um, I want to just catch everything. But you have to listen to it six times to catch everything, Man, and yeah. I'm attentively listening. Yeah. I'm not listening in the car. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking yeah. at my laptop at the artwork, just ears open. Now, I remember you said uh-huh. you went back in and you was like, you know what? I ain't done. Let me get another verse. Had to do another mm-hmm. one. What was you thinking about? Like, was you on the toilet? Was you like where was you at? Was you was you in your helicopter with your wife <laughs> oh, on the unicorn? You know when you was like, I'm gonna go back Honestly, in and, and write another third verse on this Okay, one. so look. So I had the song, it was at first it was just a long verse. I was just getting at him, just going, 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 going. Some Nazi and then that shit. was it. And then I was like, All right, this is cool, but Drake back to back was like a hook. He had a hook in there. Mm. So I went back and then added the yeah. said that easy call on the way right. easy and because and it's like all right I'm gonna put it out everybody gonna listen my album about to come out why wouldn't why I wouldn't right. plug, your sense, right. plug your shit plug your shit this the only and time you, know, you gonna hear it <laughs> this the only time you but swing goddamn this is miss plug your no. shit goddamn <laughs> plug your plug shit go here you know what I'm so, saying it was like cool then I had a hook on there and it was catchy and I was like all right now everybody is just hearing me get at him yeah. But what about me? Because I'm out here and they need to know that too. Right, so that right. verse was more so dedicated to me just being like, bruh, I'm signed to myself. You feel me? Yeah. You're doing what you're doing, but keep in mind, you got a corporation. You got a right. machine behind your back. Yeah. You feel me? I'm doing this shit all on my own. I got a small team, but we a strong team. Yeah, for sure. So now let me show you how irrelevant we are, yeah. my G. Yeah. Go to them blogs. Right, right. Uh, <laughs> Go to them blogs. Click. 
click, click on exactly. them. Uh, you can also uh, the goddamn camera. You can also check it out on homegrownradio.net. Hello. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why not? Why not? <laughs> You'll plug my shit. Nah, right, right. <laughs> this is a plug hour right you know now. So. West Coast. Yeah. Absolutely. It's easy. West Coast. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it's kind of going off of that, too, because uh, you, you ruffled some feathers with, uh, was it, Eric, Eric B. Years yeah. back. You oh, know what yeah. And, so, I, my thing is this. I forgot about that shit. My thing is this. Why? I'm trying to pay homage to yeah, my man. Exactly. And that's that's exactly how I, I, I'm, I'm assuming a lot of us. Yeah. Took, I took it as you, ta- as you paying homage. Yeah. yeah. I, I started homage. it off with it. Exactly. Make, 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 make right. But the thing is, how much you want to bet he didn't even Oh, he didn't hear it. No, for he sure. He saw the artwork. For sure. He just seen, who's this Eric B for president? Oh, That's no, my shit. Right, right, right. Like, right, right. his name ain't really Eric B. Yeah. yeah. So, have, have, <laughs> have, have, <laughs> Real name, no gimmick. Right. We're, we're, was, come on, man. Has, has that situation been smoothed out or it's kind of like. Yeah, nah, that one got smoothed over because the homie kind of checked him on it. The oh, homie wow. was like, hey, that's the little homie. Like, like you what know. You? He was like, oh, okay, I didn't know. You know these youngsters nowadays. And wow. he was like, all right. I just think that that you, anybody, just generally speaking, you do your homework. Like, got to do your homework. just say, okay, oh, I see the oh, I homework. see the way he flipped that, but he yeah. did pay homage. Yeah. Salute. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Do but, you think it's important for, like, the new artists, like, speaking of paying homage, like, like you got the little pumps and what's and all of these different people and um, even Greedo said what he said about Tupac. Do you think yeah. it's important to pay homage? Because I'm kind of on the fence yeah. now, to be honest with you. Because yeah, right, 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 right. I don't I don't necessarily remember um, like a KRS One song. Like I'm that was before my time. Right, right. right. So mm-hmm. am I? Or even a, a radio dish like Howard Stern was a, like two generations before right, us. Right. Like okay, yeah, I, I kind of. I'm edgy a little bit, but do like where does it stop? You know what I'm saying? If I don't, if he was, if this person was doing this before I was even born, am I obligated to go back and pay homage? Like, how well, do you feel about that? Nah, I, I'm, you know, I'm a big sampler too in music, so uh, I, I, I look at it like, you know, the that's what they used to do back in the day. They you know what I'm saying? More money, music. more prop. Like, yeah, you right. know what I'm saying? Like Diddy was doing it and. They wasn't even really giving homage. They like, wasn't paying homage, bro. They was just, man. it's like, it's out, even my songs, I've seen my songs get flipped. I'm like, right. oh. Damn. They got me. They got me. The little niggas is flipping my shit. They got me. I'm oldies <laughs> now. <laughs> these yeah. niggas. They sampling my shit. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, it's, it's, I just look at it like, oh, that was, if I like it, I just, oh, that was tight. You know what I mean? But that's what I'm saying. Like, do you, you don't I get what you're saying. Here, overboard or no, like. No, here's what it is. Oh, it homage. Is. It's not, it's not the fact that people aren't paying homage. All right? It's the fact that when you're disrespecting somebody, that's where it becomes kind of like too much. You I'm not easily, with disrespect. Yeah, it's, you, you cannot, if yeah, you don't nah. pay homage, it's like, okay, you may not be, you may just not know what's going on. Okay, and if you get checked, okay, boom, boom, you know, you figure it out. But I think where a lot of people are getting up in arms is that a lot of times either when they do acknowledge like, yo, this is from somebody, they, they their approach is like Man, I don't give a fuck like whatever fuck that shit well, right, I mean, right, right, right 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 if you just say oh damn See, but 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 look I know I'm somebody that it's been times not all of it if it's a song that I'm just like throwing out mixtape vibe or whatever it's whatever but like if it's a sample mm-hmm. and it's a single I'm paying right of course you feel me like. Yeah. I'm paying but, but, but them. Here's the thing, but and giving them publishing and doing business the right way. So with that, it's like, but if it's like a little throw out, nah, we not. But here's it. the thing, though, uh, isn't isn't you you give them they publishing, you pay them for the the clearance of the sample? Is that not homage? That's what I'm saying. That's how much homage, homage you need? That's what I'm saying. So I'm, I'm, my yeah. thing is, I'm on some shit where I like. What do you want me to do? You want right. me to like put you in the video? Like what? What's right. what's like homage is subjective to me. It's right. just it depends on what your POV is, right. like, what your perspective is. I think it depends so that's what I'm saying. I'm not talking about the disrespect. I'm not saying right. fuck Tupac and all that kind. Of, that shit is crazy. Yeah. I'm saying where does the homage stop? Right. That's what I'm I had. A, I've had. A, I had a song on one of my projects called Creep, which was TLC Creep the Flip, and I actually had T Boz on there. Oof, gotcha. So that was like. Homage right, and a hell, right. Yeah. hell yeah, that's how I actually. That honor. was like I that. exactly. No, yeah. it was it was crazy. And she, I was just playing the song for the homies, and they was like, you know, T Boz in the room next door, right? Get the fuck oh, out of shit. here! Oh, that was the universe. You had to run that. I was like, <laughs> hey yo T, hey yo T, hey yo Boz, what's up? Yeah, yeah. hey yo Boz. Yo, Boz. Did you did yeah. you, uh, you you made a video for that too or no? Nah, no video. Now no what if what if she's like, yo, so you know we gotta shoot a video for this? Come on, let's shoot it. Right, right. Yeah, exactly. We're chilling. Now, we're, 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 okay, let's go. That's a good thing. So you in the studio with T Boz, right? Yeah. <laughs> So he come. You can hear when he hear, when you hear that laugh. He about to just come trying to 
calculate some, some bullshit right I'm not now. calculating nothing. Yeah. I just want to know, like, what's the line for shooting your shot? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, <laughs> well, he's on. a married man. No, no, he can't no, 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 going to do that. He's a married man. So you see, it. you see the way he no, tried no, to do no, that? No, no, no. Shut the fuck up. Listen, <laughs> I see what you're you doing. You're a married dog. man. Y'all both married. I'm right. not married. You saying what married. is the line though? We out here. I'm out here. I'm single. I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? I buy my own food every night. You niggas got meals. I just got the text. The spaghetti come in here. Right. Fuck y'all. But my shit is my. I'm saying, what's the line to shoot the shot? Like, like, like. I've been in the studio. I was in the studio. I'm gonna just put it out there. I was in the studio with Maya. Right? Hello. Mm. I'm in the studio with Maya. Shout out to the homie Mars. Shout out to you know what yeah, yeah. Set the, set the little yeah, situation. Little alley-oop. Up. Yeah. She playing records. All I'm thinking is, hello, hello. <laughs> yes, man. What we doing? Greetings, what my we, good ma'am. What we doing, man? Greetings, goddamn it. What's up with all that funky. vegan alkaline shit? Yep, all that. Run all. I'm with all of that. What's the line? Like, are we in the studio it ain't on no, some yeah, business, yeah, yeah. or I'm trying to listen nah, to No, no, nah, all right, I'm going to tell you, uh, you. pre-marriage. There pre-marriage, there you go. Tell me what's up. Because I was out here. <laughs> <laughs> so, I need, I'm out here, I need to know. Nah, sometimes it's a vibe, and sometimes it's not, and you know. You I just feel like that. you know. What the fuck you that? know. <laughs> you know, like, look, look, look. What's that? For example, since you're talking about Maya, you know what I'm saying? It was like a vibe of, because she was in a video yeah. for Focus on You. We was always around each other. She was always beautiful. It was just always a, it wasn't that vibe. Mm. You feel me? It was just like, I, thank you for being here. You look great. It's, Makeup's over there. Right, right, right. And Exit is over there. Action. Right. <laughs> and that's it. You good? You know what I'm saying? Because right. it's work. It's work. It's right, work. Right. You know what I'm saying? Especially yeah, if but... in what I, with what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? And I look at it like, if you, I don't know, every every girl is just different. If you got somebody that's feeling you and that want it, they're going to give you some, they're going to give you the signs. Right. Well, see, this they're going to give you the signs. They're going to give you some extra hey, lingerage. Don't be shaking your head. They elbow, they're going to give you an extra like, lingerage yeah. on the elbow. I'm going to tell you some real shit, E. And the extra, like, that was funny, the hand. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> you stupid. Oh, we vibe? Oh, my. we vibe? <laughs> Was that the vibe? Yeah. Oh, we. That's oh, what I'm saying. Oh, you right. know. Stupid. But if you don't, yeah, oh my yeah, god, you. Yeah. You crazy. You don't get that, I can't hey. believe you just. <laughs> oh my god, you. You yo, yeah. if you don't. <laughs> you know what? I just. I don't even know why yo. it's an easy call, but it is. Yo, I don't know it's why, but it call. is. You want some pizza? It's an easy it's call. It's an easy like, call. No, no. What about but if you don't get, get that don't vibe, get don't try to go inside. inside. No, but what I'm saying is, no, that's, that's funny as fuck. That's funny as fuck. Oh, no, what shit. I'm saying is, like, because, you know, I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The thing is, I'm, and they can attest to it, I'm really like a computer. I'm terrible at reading signs from women. I'm I so bad at that. Because the thing woman? is about music, they already get it. They it's it. already a bad thing, like right. women in the industry and, oh, you got to sleep your way to the right, top. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Right. Like, so that's extra. what, yeah, it's like a crazy, well, you my, know, a little, um, what is it called? Stereo, yeah, whatever, right, you know. Actually. Yeah, so with them, I feel like they now, I feel like they like, they don't want to be looked at like that. And the ones that do... It's so obvious that yeah. it's like, ugh. Now, let me tell you what's obvious to me. Get me, out of here. I don't even want you over here. Let me tell you what's here. obvious to me. I get DMs, right? I, I little did, Now, I'm going to tell you about this real DM. I got a DM, and... She's and I'm wearing a West Coast sweater. Yeah. And I asked, and she said, "Ooh, uh, I want one of. The, I want that." She said, "I want that." I said, "Me or the hoodie?" <laughs> I don't that was know what good. you talking about. That was good. I said, "Me or the hoodie?" She, she said, "Both." That oh, was good. Well, yeah. We got action. We got action. Oh, we vibing. We vibing. <laughs> Yo, are we vibing. You know what I'm saying? So that's a vibe right there. Are we it's vibing? A vibe. It's a vibe. Oh, it's a right vibe. Right there. <laughs> oh so you know, that's what I'm saying. You, you know, knew. You, you in that case, and that tell me you didn't know what to yeah, say after that. Knew. Oh no, no, no! I let nature take its course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like gripping yeah, that. Man. You know what I'm saying? You I let nature. That. That's what I'm saying. And if that's not the vibe, right. you just gotta be cool because the thing is, women appreciate that mm. more than anything, right, which might right. later on get you down what? the line some accidental vibes. <laughs> some accidental vibes. <laughs> Like, we here. Like, might as well. You yeah. feel me? Because it's like, if you don't even try to, it's like, man, they be like, damn, he's not trying. The other niggas be trying. Well, that's the it. thing. That's another part of my thing. I yeah. don't necessarily try, but it's certain. Okay, put it this way. He popped his collar. No, I'm, I'm hot. Nah, okay, okay, okay. If, if, I thought he just uh, ran to the That yeah. nigga said, if I'm. Fuck <laughs> it. You know, when I'm on, let me on. Right. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm just saying. I'm saying, like. 
my thing is I I don't necessarily go in like that, yeah. and I'll be really on I I'll be really dismissive on the woman shit just because women get you in trouble. So you that's know? why you don't want to do it. No, now that's not the settle that's down vibe. The reason why I ask no. you is, the first the, initially is because Maya is one of them people. Like my, there's Maya, there's Faith Evans, there these people who I watched growing up. Like man, if I could, you know, you going through puberty watching these course, motherfuckers. Like course, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Nah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's like, what? That was a pop. I just said, just to let you know. Yeah, you going through? I'm going through puberty watching these women. Like they, they yeah. on TV and shit. Of course. And I'm just looking at them like, bro. Like now that I'm older, and uh, you know, what I mean, I'm a grown man. My rent high as a motherfucker. I feel like I'm old. Some vibes. Exactly. I got All a song years. called "Where Are You Now." <laughs> you, you know? I never put it out. It's called "Where Are You Now," and it's and it's crazy. It's a song about when I was young. And like all the crushes, but now I'm lit. Where are you now? Like I, I name everybody in there. Really? I'm talking about Neil, Stacy, everybody in there. Nice. Stacy Dash followed me on Twitter. Oh, uh uh-uh. Stacy Dash followed me on Twitter. Yeah. First hey, thing man. I do is DM. <laughs> you right slid in. Oh, I DM right DM. away. Campaign. It, it said it said Stacy Dash has followed you. DM. <laughs> you know what I'm about? Hey, what? hey, you should screenshot that. That was a, hey, that was a you sick slide. That this week. Oh, no, she didn't follow me. Oh, okay. That was a sick slide in. You know what I'm saying? Well, she followed me for a good two months. So I DM'd her. She, she DM'd me back one time and was like, hey, you know, nice to meet you or some shit like that. But Did you try to set up the interview? Well, no, it wasn't no vibes. It wasn't no vibes. The vibe wasn't there. The vibes wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? So you do know She probably clicked on my image. Hey, hey, it was a hard call. It was a hard hard call. Exactly. She probably clicked on where it say media. Right. She's like, oh, no. Media went to my pictures. No way. Unfollow. (laughs) (laughs) So look. Then now, now, okay, again, easy calls out right now. Yeah. The, the name, man, I know that probably goes without saying, but kind of yeah. explain the name, the name behind it, the the significance of the name. Easy and call. man, the name, it was like, yo, that's what we always say. You feel me? Like the homies, we just buy easy, easy call. It's an easy call, and man, it really, it really came from Demetrius saying it over and over and Shit. over and over. Nah, the, uh, my other homie oh, okay, Demetrius. Okay. And it was just like, you know what, man? That's Why the name not? of the album, bro. Just let it flow. And he was like, see, easy yeah. call. <laughs> see, easy call. And it was like, it was just, that's So you got to like, give him some publishing. That's why, yeah, I shot him out. The dope. Yeah, right. that's, that's it right there. Too. Why not? Skr, skr. You got to pay homage. Mm. You got to pay homage to Demetrius. Yeah. You know I put a Z on it. Oh. <laughs> Switch that thing all Switch the way that around. Thing. No, it's still because when you when you Google like the S, S everything it's comes so up. much. Everything comes shit up. That come up. Yeah, that Z is me. Now, um, now, now, kind of explain the whole. Um, you going to the, the not the schools, the dance studios, man. Yeah. That I know you seeing those fans and seeing those people react to the music and just Crazy. seeing you there and you surprising them. Like, how many people actually sent submissions in? Oh my god, it's a lot, right? I don't know. Too many, huh? Yeah, it was thousands <laughs> for sure. Yeah, because even on the, just the hashtag alone, it's over you know a thousand on Instagram, and it was it was just that you know what I'm saying making. I'm thinking that I'm about to go to Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah. I wanted to go to the smallest, like I said, the smallest cities, any city, and I was also like, not just L.A. So I had to take a couple layovers on some of the places that we was going to because yeah. I wanted to go to the places that they would say, nobody Every, ever, ever comes came, here. Right. Yeah. So Memphis, Tennessee, I went there thinking I'm about to just make they day mm-hmm. and they made my day that's dope you know what I'm saying like it was it was back and forth it was they was going crazy and I was just mentally like this is what I do it for mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying this is the reason these kids and seeing them going crazy and when I'm sitting there watching it and the teacher's like yo when you hear you know they just step they get it just goes so crazy the energy is just that's what it's about that's that's the same feeling as a Grammy that's the same you know what I mean them, that feeling just to be able to touch the kids and it's amazing. Now, what what city or what what area were you surprised that you got something from? I mean, I, I can imagine now you have fans all over the world for sure. But yeah, something for something specifically like this. I know you weren't able to respond to every single person, but was mm-hmm. there a market or a city that you like? Damn, they they actually rock with my shit. It really took it to the extent to make a video out there. Yeah, no, nah, it'd be man all over the world. It'd be Africa, you know. Uh, I do a lot of tours overseas, like the European, you know. What I mean, uh, spots, but. Just the Africa, the Iceland. It'd it be the smallest. Ice, yeah, wow. it'd be the smallest cities. Like, what? Y'all y'all know about it over shit, there? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, even like before we was in the interview, I was just like, 
do people know that I'm out here man, doing my bro. thing? You remember how I was just yeah. talking? It's just like, man, because the world is just such a big place, but it'd be, it be love, and it always just feels amazing. But you know, as an artist, you always, you think of this big place, you know what I mean, that is like, success is right here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you never know, but... I just look at it like success is here. Success is what you make it. And, you know, to be able to actually just do the things right now, mm -hmm. like, why not go right now? Yeah. We could go on the next album. We can go anytime, but let's just schedule it right now. Yeah, just do it. And then it just started happening. And then I was glad that we got the ball rolling because that was, you know, just made me hungrier to go to the next city. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Are you good? It went down the wrong. You that know, on the easy call. Grandma. Right there, that was you a know, hard. Right. Call. That was a very hard call. <laughs> no, <laughs> hey, y'all not gonna be hitting me I'm with the hard call. You know, <laughs> I, I didn't know what the fuck was going saying. on. You know what I'm saying? Now I got a picture I want to show you real quick. Uh oh. Yeah. Now I want to know why they got me like this out here. It was from your birthday, <laughs> and I want to pass this to him, Tomas. Pa look, and you can put this up on the video. But why it look like? I finally got asked out. <laughs> on you know what I'm saying? Why it look like you finally asked me to the dance? <laughs> this bitch is crazy. Why oh, they got me like I'm grabbing my chest? Who me? <laughs> oh my oh, god! And that's, me? The, that's the signs that the women be giving. You got to be looking out for those that's signs. That's the signs. And that's the bullshit. I'm like, well, who took this who fucking me? picture? Why they got me out here like they that? They said it's a look, look at the picture. They said. <laughs> Oh my god You know what I'm saying You know I'm gonna let you Plug your shit right <laughs> This is like You know I'm gonna let you, know you Plug your shit It looked like shit, you Finally right? asked me out And I was like Oh my god <laughs> Nah that's it but, but Me Chuck definitely said Bay in that, in that picture Oh right my there. god huh? yeah, Alright so I'm gonna post Something put when, when Bay finally yeah. Asked you out Oh uh, no You know what I'm saying That's going up On the ground <laughs> uh, Oh no be Before we close Things out man Look I, we already Talked about you Being a, 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 a married man In this business You know what I'm saying Yes sir The album obviously Obviously is out right now yeah. Now you, you're an Incredible father Father. And I definitely want to Thank tell you, you that man. I'm expecting a son in June So I, I, I gotta get some dad advice from Eric Bounty Alright so look man I'm gonna tell you now I'm, I'm I have a, a wife That is Incredible mm -hmm. She is the reason that I'm able to Have a son And still be Eric Bellinger right. Right. I'm able to do everything Nothing has changed mm -hmm. Not even at all You That's know crazy. she's like I got you I'm holding it down and she's holding it down. So anytime I can, I'm right there with Eli. Yeah. As much as I can. Like, if I'm not doing nothing, I'm like, like last night, I finished early. I had told the homie I could come. I was like, yo, bro, I need to go and home and play with Eli. Right. Can we go? Can we do it another time? He said, that's the best uh, a reason for a rain check I've right. ever heard in my yeah, life. So, yeah, boom, I was there at the house. And even, even though I'm there as much as I can be, he still, when he sees me, says, Daddy, you're back. Oh, shit. Yeah. Who and could that hurts. Yeah. Damn. Because it's like, yeah, it's a good thing, but it's like, oh, if I'm back as in like. I'm gone. gone you be right. knowing I'll be gone. Right, yeah. Right, right, right. Ooh, He's so aware. He's aware. Mm. It, was, it, it used to be like, oh. But now it's like you're you know. the, the, the happiness in your back. <laughs> Damn. Like, Cut. I feel crazy, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And I'm there a lot. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like just if you just make the time, especially in these first couple years, because mm -hmm. everybody told me that they learn the most, but he they really do. So you want them to have your influence and not too many other people. Gotcha. So just be there as much as you can because they know. Yeah, they know. Oh man, that, know. Not, hey, that's crazy, bro. That's wow, dog. I mean, because that's that's one of the things I was asking Nip the same thing. Nip, she was telling me he was like, yo, he's like, no matter what, you are gonna figure out. How to do it? Like, yeah. I was like, yo, sacrificing your time, like being in this yeah. place, trying to figure it out and spending yeah. time with your people, your, 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 your new kid. Like, how do you do it? It's like, man, you you figure it out, you yeah. find a way. Yeah, but I mean, that's 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 what I'm saying. Better you, man, you got to like last. I just had to be like, yo, bro, I gotta go play play with right, Eli. Right, Literally. that's as much on a schedule as yeah. a radio interview yeah. because very, very you know true. what I'm saying. That's your blood, and yeah. no matter what, when everything is going, when the last song completes at three thirty seven, they're gonna be right there. God, yeah, that's crazy. I, well, I don't need none of that shit right now. <laughs> so no, and I'm gonna tell you, like, if you want to do, I be, I told the homie, he was like, yeah, we we pregnant. I was like, bro, that's you gonna have to be there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's there. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like. Oh no, we we went to go eat. It's last, crazy. We went to go eat last night. It's a whole person. Let me tell you some real <laughs> shit. Whole real life person. We man. went to go eat last night, 
And every time Chuck's wife got up to go to the bathroom, he went with I'm her. There, he Come was on, there. Like, I don't, I don't doubt his. He gonna be right yeah, there. Right. I'm actually kind of worried about the show. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We gonna be good. We gonna <laughs> be straight. We gonna be broadcasting. Like, I'm actually kind of worried about the brand. <laughs> right. Yo, it's really gonna be at the at the home homegrown home radio. Home it's gonna really be at the house. Yeah, yeah, straight up. Yeah, this shit, you know what I'm saying? You talking about some years. T- ten years? Yeah. We ten years in. Yeah. And then a baby come, he get married. It's like, well, I gotta go. I'm finna go play with Eli, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> My nigga, we got shit to do. You know, like, you know we got an interview coming up. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? You know you got we got this. we got uh, I gotta head to the house. We got yeah, Trump got... coming in. Yeah, fuck man, that. Fuck I'm finna that. go play with Eli. Yeah, man, you know we gotta saying? do some shit. What the fuck? Little Charles I, needed. I need to talk to this nigga. Nah, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's real, bro. Bruh. It's it's crazy. You but gotta, dog, you gotta do it. Hold on, That's why I would say I would tell somebody. I was telling who was I just talking to? I wish I remember who I was talking to, but I was like, yeah, oh Trinidad, Trinidad, oh, Trinidad James. James. He got a little. He got ki- nah. So he basically was like, yeah, I'm moving. I'm about to, you know, what I mean, get out wow. of here, and I'm gonna keep turning up. Yeah, you, you know, I gotta do this. What's yeah, the next yeah. move? What's the next move? And I was like, damn. Well, I'm over here parked. That, I ain't going nowhere. I'm here. You know what I mean? He, I yeah. was like, he, I was like, I love it, but it make me want to go home. Right. As soon up. as we finish. Are we Finished? Straight up. I gotta go to the house. Gotta get that Subconsciously, all. I gotta get to the house. Right. Bro. And he's like, man, like, that's, I can't have that because nah, I, I gotta be able to do it. And for me, I'm like, bro, it's just like, you realize, like, you gotta, you gotta take care of them. You gotta give them love. You gotta water it. Otherwise, you feel me? It's just, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, and he, he know this, but I'm like really terrified of having a kid. Like, the fact that you're able to maintain your career, a marriage, and, like, all that shit, and be a father, like, a great dad at that, it's is crazy as hell to me, because I know lot. a lot of great dads. It's like, that Debbie dad shit, I don't believe in that. Like, every man's a Debbie dad. I think that's a lot of great fathers. Yeah. So, like, salute to you. Thank you, man. That. Thank um, you. Last thing I want to talk about is okay. this record you did. Now, we're not going to say this or that or whatever. I'm going to just say you did a record mm-hmm. with a competing brand. Okay. And... It's a couple other guys that's a little lighter than us. You did a song, for, a single for them with AD. Now, <laughs> Stupid. a little lighter than us. Yeah. So the song is fire. Fire. Okay. And I and I remember I remember I came by the crib and you was working on some shit and you was like and I told you I was like yo E that that motherfucking song is hard that shit hard. He was like you gonna play it? I was like no. <laughs> but I'm not gonna do it. I'm not playing. I'm gonna it. let you know. But it's hard. I honestly, I honestly look at it like. It was all the DJs was all united as one. Well, yeah, no, no. It, I mean, yeah. But I just I'm on some like, LA shit. But no, nah, even still, I was just like, all right, cool. If a DJ got a song, every DJ gonna play it. Well, <laughs> yeah. here's the thing. I I would play it if I could. Given the circumstances, I just yeah. can't be endorsing this brand and that brand and other kind of things when I'm on a competing brand. So that's why I wanted to say publicly, because I did say it publicly, but, you know, things got lost in translation. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It wasn't so much of an easy call. It, it wasn't, it, it wasn't easy. an easy call. It wasn't an easy call at all. But I just do want to tell you publicly, because <laughs> I told you before, but publicly, you you murdered that record. Good looking. That man. record is fire. AD did his shit, too. Yeah. AD came on. He did it. He was he was good. But you murdered that shit. I told Dang. him. I was like, bro, this shit hard. And I ain't going to oh, front this motherfucker. Dang. I told Fuzzy. I call Fuzz like, hey, you know that record I ain't going to play hard. You know that record I ain't going to play. That shit hard as a motherfucker. You That's crazy. Said, you know this record yeah. I ain't going to play. is kind of dope. Crazy. But it was hard. Yo, That's e, crazy. Is there anything you want to tell the people? Anything? <laughs> uh, you, you, any closing remarks, man? Easy call out right now. Easy call. Um, just, easy uh, call. We, we, we always tell you, man, we're super proud of you. We've seen it come up and, and just continue the blessings and all that, man. Not only with the career, but with the family. Thank you. Well, now, anything else you want to tell the people out there, bro? Man, I just want to let everybody know, especially LA, West Coast. West Coast. Thank y'all yeah. for rocking with me because I'm able to succeed and I'm able to be who I am. And in New York and Germany and Dubai because of you because of the support that I've had and that's why you feel me anytime I could be there whether it's a high school uh, show whether it's uh, anything I'm going to be right there because LA always show love and you know what I mean they say without your own hometown you ain't got nothing and I know if I ain't got nothing else I got LA so absolutely man the homegrown homie Eric Bellinger Chuck Dizzle DJ Head Homegrown Radio we up out West Coast 